To me, Dr. Hawa Abdi, may Allah's mercy be upon her, is inspirational because she took her skills, her strengths, everything that she had capacity towards and utilized it to just help others because it was the right thing to do. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Imam Khalid Latif from the Islamic Center at New York University. I was asked to share some thoughts on an inspirational figure uh, and to me, one of the immediate people that came to mind was a woman by the name of Dr. Hawa Abdi. May Allah's mercy be upon her. Hawa Abdi comes from Somalia and she gained her education in Ukraine as a doctor of gynecology. But when she returned back to her own home country of Somalia, she began to utilize her skills and her training to help people who were in need. And slowly she built up a clinic that was serving so many individuals in the thousands. And then her home country was stricken by conflict and now so many people became internally displaced, needing a place to go and find refuge. And they all turned to this space and settlement that Dr. Hawa Abdi had built, getting to a point where over 90,000 people we're now there, living under her care. And many of us know about the difficult experiences that have taken place in the country of Somalia. May Allah make things easy for all of them. And over the course of her tenure, she helped so many different people from all walks of life. And she writes about her own interactions in the year 2010 when individuals from the group Ash-Shabaab came into her settlement, bringing forth their distorted understanding of Islam as a religion, and said to her now as an elderly woman that you have to give us control of all of this because they didn't feel that a woman could manage all of it. And rather than acquiesce, Dr. Hawa Abdi in defense of all those who are under her care, but also in defense of what our religious tradition actually advocates for, denies these men anything of what it is that they are asking. Saying that if they are going to shoot me and they are going to kill me, then so be it. Attention starts to come now towards what's taking place there. with international pressure and other things happening, eventually these individuals who have no representation of the claim to Islam that they claim to have, they forego what it is that they are seeking to usurp, but not without first causing some damage to what Dr. Hawa Abdi had built up and she didn't turn to a place where she said, I'm older now and I can't continue any longer. But she just went and sought to rebuild, knowing that she played a critical role for so many people in her country. Aside from honorary doctorates and even a Nobel Prize nomination, aside from so many awards and accolades and so much that people know her for in terms of her credentials and her degrees. To me, Dr. Hawa Abdi, may Allah's mercy be upon her, is inspirational because she took her skills, her strengths, everything that she had capacity towards and utilized it to just help others because it was the right thing to do. Beyond being an amazing medical professional, beyond being an amazing leader and an amazing caretaker, that gives me a sense of aspiration to hope that I could perhaps become even an iota of something that is similar to so much she's accomplished. The inward example that she demonstrates 
to get up and do it again, to rebuild and to keep going, to not let anybody put out her light, but to allow for her illuminating personality and demeanor to be something that propels her forward with strength inward and outward. That spiritual inspiration is something that is beyond inspiring. So I'd encourage you all to look up this amazing exemplar of our tradition, a contemporary, one who in the prism of modernity, in the face of violence and militancy, in the face of so much conflict and so much difficulty, was a reason that hundreds of thousands had hope in this world and never had to even consider dreading it. And may Allah enable us to embody that example in all that it is that we do. Wallahu ta'ala alam wa billahi tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.